Serrani. And I'm Chad Laracy. And this is another episode of the Mountain Life Show. And today we are downtown Blue Ridge at the iconic Black Sheep Restaurant. We're here at the Black Sheep in Blue Ridge, Georgia with owner Brandon Lofton. And Brandon's going to tell us a little bit what makes this restaurant so iconic. Well, that's a great question. Um, I think that, you know, besides having what I believe is a wonderful menu, um, chef inspired, um, completely you know, scratch made, uh, the atmosphere being in a 108 year old home. Um, having such amazing history um, with the original owners being, you know, pioneers of the town, one of the first mayors, um, you know, having the uh, relationship with the famous Margaret Mitchell, who wrote Gone with the Wind, if you didn't know that, um, and, and her staying at this house several times. It's, it's a unique property. It's a, the third oldest home in, in the town of Blue Ridge. It was one of the first to have plumbing. and. Uh, the original owner actually, uh, you know, developed the property, built it out, and it's absolutely beautiful. So you have all the, the bones of an older home with the, the feel of a new restaurant, the rustic look, and um, so it's just, it's a special place. I, well, I was going to say, I was born and raised, I could throw a rock and hit my house from here, and you just told me more about this house than <laughs> I knew. I remember when the Hamptons owned it, they had yeah. one of the large uh, hardware stores here in town. So and I've gotten a lot of, um, you know, local people that have told me a lot of stories and, you know, it's gone through a couple hands. It was a, a law office at one time, but, you know, it's still walking around. It's very much a home, bedrooms and bathrooms and, you know, now converted to uh, a restaurant. So it's, it's very unique. And what I love is you've kept so many of the original furnishings here. It looks like the floors are original. You've got this beautiful mantle and fireplace. And so you've got a wide background in the restaurant business. I do. Tell us a little bit about how that brought you to Blue Ridge, Georgia. I grew up in New Orleans. Uh, I've been in the restaurant business this year. It'll be 28 years. Um, I, I worked for three major restaurant companies, Bennigan's, Copeland's, and then Landry's for the better part of 19 years. And... Um, my wife and I uh, stumbled upon this place. We, we ride Harley Davidson's and uh, we found this place. And after about the third visit, we, like most people, decided to buy a, a cabin, which we, were, we thought we were gonna rent and we never did. And a year later, as fate would have it, uh, we had an opportunity uh, present itself to buy this restaurant and the property that it sits on and we did. And the rest is history. We, we uh, this August, It'll be three years that we've owned the restaurant and um, it's going knock on wood remarkably well. So we're very excited. You guys have made some additions too. We have. The most significant addition and, and really the catalyst of the greatest change is building the bar outside. We have the largest bar in Blue Ridge. Um, and uh, we also just completed a, a, a passion project. We have a, a large party banquet venue on the back of the property. Um, that you know can cater to rehearsal dinners, bridal showers, corporate parties, um, all of the above seats up to 60 people, 80, and if you include the outside, we also have a, a short-term rental property in the back. Um, but the, the unique thing about the Black Sheep, and a lot of people don't really um, get this, is you, you have you can sit in this dining room that we're sitting in right now, and you can have a, a more formal dinner. You can sit on our dog-friendly patio. During the summertime, uh, we have a you know obviously the, the deck bar with TVs. We we have the NFL ticket during the NFL season. Uh, and then we also have the upstairs private rooms. We have a, a wine room. We have a library room. So you have different styles of, of dining and the different atmospheres that we offer. That I think is very unique and really kind of separates us from anyone in town. So um, I'm very proud of that. And that was all by design. I wanted to. We're in a mountain town, people are up here hiking, fly fishing, 
mountain biking and they're casual and and they're wearing blue jeans and, and hiking shoes and but uh, they, they come from areas where they want a good glass of wine and a, and a, and a, and a world-class meal and, and we can do that for them so absolutely and I know you have a lot of live music offerings here as well tell us a little bit about that we, we've tried to um, be unique in that we're only um, we're, we're only employing and attracting original artists. Um, most recently, uh, we had a, a, a young lady by the name of Ali Colleen, um, who happens to be the daughter of the most famous country musician ever, um, Garth Brooks. And um, <laughs> wow. um, she'll be mad at me for saying that if she watches this video, <laughs> because she's very, but we, we do, we wanna do special events. Um, the, the Event Barn uh, will have various events a lot of live music we'll do uh, dinner and music we have a scotch and cigar tasting we have a uh, a beef uh, we have a barbecue and bingo and bourbon night we're doing so <laughs> we're doing a lot of unique things and that's you know the movie nights on the lawn and but one of my things is to 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 offer unique experiences to people out here because blue ridge you know being in its infancy stages i think there has to be people you know putting things out there for people so. that's awesome now uh you guys have a website that you post those we events so yeah we do yeah, okay. the best way the best way to find out what we're doing is follow us on social media okay. uh, we have found that uh, the best way to reach the most people the quickest the most effective way is to use social media i don't do email blasts um, I, I've, I've, I've found that that falls on a lot of deaf ears. Uh, I think people have kind of over utilized that vehicle. So follow us on social media, Instagram, the black sheep, blue .com, And then our Facebook page. And we literally post every day, um, and, and all the upcoming events and or that's really, and our website is updated. All of our hours, everything that we're doing is always on our, our website. So. And I love that for folks who maybe don't want a dinner experience here, they can come for Sunday brunch. Yeah, the brunch actually is a uh, has become an extremely pop popular uh, meal time for us. Um, people love brunch; they do. Uh, Three dollar mimosas, five dollar bloody marys. We have the very famous um, hair of the sheep bloody mary that was named by one of our customers. We ran a contest. <laughs> That's also a bloody mary and a buffet pork belly shrimp. There's a meat straw. It's all kind of stuff. Oh, um, wow. But yeah, I mean, the, the brunch, the brunch is, is, is really remarkable. The Nashville hot chicken over red velvet waffle um, is, is remarkable. It seems to be a crab cake Benedict. That is really becoming probably one of the most popular elements of the restaurant, really. And people love brunch. Brunch is very popular around the country. People love brunch. So... Yeah, you got to try the brunch. Yeah, and I love yeah. that you're offering that. And so for folks who are interested and in, they can't wait to get in your restaurant, do they need to make reservations? That's a great question. And this is the answer that I tell everybody. We recommend them, but you don't need them. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest things that I started when I bought this restaurant, I never want to feel my front desk staff always says, were you able to call ahead? Because I never want to say, did you make a reservation? Because I don't want to make people feel like if they didn't, they can't eat because we will get you down. You may have to wait. You might have to have a cocktail, but we'll get you down. I don't ever want anybody to feel like they have to, but it is a good idea. That's really interesting. How yep. you put that? Yep. That's, that play on words. I mean, it's well, listen. It, we live in a day and age where, listen, people want to walk in. A lot of people love eating at the bar. You wouldn't believe how many people prefer eating at a bar versus they like meeting new people, especially in this town. They're here to meet people and, and, and be communal, and the bar helps them do that. So, Sure. Great well, point. thank you so much yeah, for having us here. Mm -hmm. We Appreciate absolutely it. love it. This is one of our favorite dining destinations in the whole North Georgia mountains. Okay. So, yeah. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Okay. Great.